Hi, my name is Cameron Kowalski, and I'm a Master's of Public Health candidate working with the Campus Health Center to provide this webinar on how to make 2023 your year to quit smoking and vaping. The new year is a great time to start building better habits and leaving our bad habits behind. With life finally getting back to normal after the COVID-19 pandemic, it is a great time to quit smoking and vaping. Seven out of 10 smokers wish they could stop smoking, but vaping is not the answer to helping you quit. E-cigarettes or vapes contain many harmful chemicals and aerosols that are linked to chronic lung and heart disease. In this webinar, you can learn about the emerging information about vapes and your health, as well as evidence-based methods to help you quit for good. So what is vaping? Vaping is the use of electronic cigarettes or e-cigarettes and similar devices to vaporize heated aerosols containing a mixture of nicotine and other compounds, which is inhaled by users. Since vapes have been introduced, users have increased drastically in the United States. Some types of vapes include e-cigarettes, e-hookahs, e-pipes, vapes or vape pens, and those resembling USBs. So how many college students are using tobacco, vaping, and smoking marijuana? In 2016, about 11% of college students were using tobacco products compared to around 17% using in 2002. Overall, it has been shown that tobacco use amongst college students has been declining, but vaping and marijuana use shouldn't be a solution to, qu to quit using tobacco products. 25% of 18 to 24 year olds were reported to be users of e-cigarettes. A study of 498 college students in the United States reported that 43.2% have vaped at some point in their lives. Regarding to marijuana use in college students, 44% using, reported using marijuana in 2020 compared to the 38% who reported using in 2015. When it comes to vaping marijuana and nicotine, in 2020, 12% of college students reported to vape marijuana and 19% reported to vape nicotine. Let's get into the known health effects of vaping or using e-cigarettes. Vaping can lead to addiction, specifically nicotine addiction, which can lead to addictions to other drugs. Vaping is also linked to brain, brain health risks such as mood disorders, an increase in anxiety symptoms and stress levels, permanent lowering of impulse control, and harm the parts of the brain that control attention and learning. Many people believe that e-cigarettes are simply water vapor. However, that is not the case as the aerosol and vapes contain many harmful chemicals. There is still research being conducted on what is actually in the aerosol and vapes, but this is what we do know. The aerosol from e-cigarettes can lead to chronic lung and heart disease. These chemicals include nicotine, ultrafine particles, flavoring such as dicetyl, which is specifically linked to lung disease, benzene, which is found in car exhaust, and heavy metals such as nickel, tin, and lead. Something that many people don't realize is that secondhand aerosol is a thing, and it can cause those who are around people who vape to inhale these harmful chemicals and affect their health as well. There are also health risks when it comes to marijuana use that many people do not know about. Marijuana use disorder is when you're unable to stop using marijuana, even though it is causing health and social problems within your life. Three out of 10 people who use marijuana have marijuana use disorder. This can lead to problems with attention, memory, and learning. Marijuana use in general has risks when it comes to brain health, in which it affects your thinking, attention, memory, coordination, movement, time perception, as well as your brain development. When it comes to your physical health, marijuana use delivers substances that are harmful to the lungs and cardiovascular system. It also increases your heart rate and blood pressure. You can also develop marijuana poisoning, which can cause problems walking or sitting up and make you have a difficult time breathing. Using marijuana can also affect your mental health in which it can cause disorientation and sometimes unpleasant thoughts or feelings of paranoia and anxiety. It also increases symptoms of depression, social anxiety, thoughts of suicide, suicide attempts, and suicide. One caveat, caveat that I wanted to bring up is that some people do use marijuana for medical reasons, so be sure to consult your doctor before changing your regimen. Now that we're aware of the many health effects caused by vaping and smoking marijuana, which are very good reasons to quit, let's discuss some evidence-based methods that have been successful in helping others quit as well. 
The Truth Initiative is a nonprofit public health organization in which it has two programs that we will be talking about today. The first program is called This Is Quitting, which is a mobile texting program that is free and is designed to help young people quit vaping. You are able to message real people who are going through or have successfully quit vaping. The messages show the real side of quitting, both the good and the bad. They send evidence-based tips and strategies to quit and stay quit. This program has successfully helped more than 500,000 young people on their journeys to quit vaping. In a study com conducted comparing quitting rates of the This Is Quitting program to people trying to quit on their own, 16.2% of participants were able to quit, quit vaping using This Is Quitting compared to 8.3% participants being able to quit without using the program. Using This Is Quitting just about doubles your success in being able to quit vaping according to the study. The second method to help you quit vaping and smoking marijuana is also a truth initiative program called the X program. The X program is the most validated digital smoking cessation program that is available on the market today. When you sign up with the X program, you get an X plan, which is a self-paced guided quit plan. The X community where you can communicate with others who are going through the same journey and X smokers as well. Live chat coaching with treatment experts, as well as text messaging to keep you engaged in your quitting journey. The X program has helped almost a million people build skills and confidence to quit successfully. A study on how effective this program is in smoking cessation found that after six months, 46% of participants made at least one quit attempt that lasted over 24 hours, and 5.3% of participants, or 217 people, were able to successfully quit smoking after six months of using the program. There are also many apps out there now that you can use to help you quit vaping and smoking marijuana. The CDC recommends the Quick Start app on their website, which is an app that provides tips and information to prepare you for becoming smoke-free. It will monitor your progress, and you can even earn badges for reaching your smoke-free milestones. It helps you manage cravings and bad moods in healthy ways, there are also games and challenges to help distract you from your cravings. This app also includes a quick kit feature that allows you to store helpful tips, inspirations, and challenges. So here are some tips to help you along your quitting journey. First, make a withdrawal plan. Make a plan for how you will quit vaping or using marijuana. Will you quit cold turkey or will you try to wean yourself off of it by limiting yourself until you're no longer using? Exercise, physical activity can be beneficial to curb the cravings for nicotine and marijuana when you feel like you need to use. You should go for a walk or do a quick, work, quick workout instead. Lean on your support system. Seek support from your family and friends that can encourage you to continue on your quitting journey. When you have the urge to use, reach out to them and they can help you out. Find stress solutions. We know that vaping is, a, is not a stress solution and that it actually increases your stru stress levels. So instead, try out med meditation, journaling, spending time outside, or talking about your stress with your support system. Make sure to celebrate your accomplishments. Experts say that you should recognize and celebrate your accomplishments when quitting and it will boost your resistance to stress and cravings and take this journey one day at a time. It can be easy to feel overwhelmed by thinking about how hard it is going to be to quit or how long it can take, but instead focus on each day and celebrate the progress you have made. So key takeaways from this presentation are that vaping and marijuana use has been increasing since they have been introduced, so you're not alone during your quitting process. There are many negative health effects such as chronic lung and heart disease, heart disease linked to both vaping and marijuana use that should encourage you to take this time at the start of the new year to quit using. Vaping and marijuana use cessation programs such as This Is Quitting and the X program have been shown to be successful and should be used if you're unable to quit on your own. Use these resources and the tips provided in the webinar to finally kick these bad habits and leave them behind in 2022. On this slide, I included some additional resources that you can use along your quitting journey. 
The Truth Initiative provides some quit smoking tools on their website, as well as the two programs mentioned. If you want to find out more information on vaping and on how vaping and smoking marijuana affect your health, there are two CDC links here and the Surgeon General link. If you are in need of some other tips to quit vaping, you should check out the Frederick Health Tips link. I've also included the Counseling and Psychological Services, or CABS, in the Campus Health Center here as a resource for counseling or behavioral health that you may want to check out by going to their websites listed and scheduling an appointment. The Campus Health Center also has a social worker on staff that can help you help with quick counseling. You can call by the phone number listed here or go online to schedule an appointment at health.wayne.edu. Here is also the Campus Health Center contact information. On this slide, I included the references for the presentation. And thank you and good luck on your quitting journey.